Hello all, this is Vivek and in this short video, I will be introducing the web application pen testing course which I am about to start. So what do we plan to cover in this course? Now this course will begin right from the very basics and then move on to intermediate level topics and then eventually to advanced topics. And my idea, I mean, if you've pretty much seen any of my other courses, is to go really methodically and comprehensively and ensure that we really do not try to cut corners here and there. Uh, and that's the reason why my courses are going to be pretty much so big, right? 6, 9, 10, 12 hours, you must have seen a couple of them. And this course is going to be no exception. So I'm going to start from the very, very basics, right? beginning with HTTP, HTTPS, protocol basics, uh, and then move on to different web application architectures, have a look at the different tools of the trade, both client side, as well as tools which you can run against a server like SQL map and all of that. Uh, we will look at intercepting proxies because in web apps, pretty much that is your Swiss knife, right? How do you modify stuff uh, before sending it to the web server, which probably the client, your browser may not really allow. Or even how do you change things which the, uh, which the server sends back to you. Now, after I have assured uh, that pretty much all of you guys have ramped up in using the different tools required to analyze web applications, we will move on to the actual vulnerabilities which are there in web apps where we look at cross-site scripting, the different types, advanced cases, uh, XSS filters and how to evade them, right? And uh, tools like Beef, which pretty much, you know, make you super powerful once you have discovered an XSS. From there, we'll move on to SQL injection and, uh, you know, we'll take up a bunch of examples, uh, specifically the different types, how to figure out which type a specific case falls in, uh, you know, whether it's going to be error-based, blind, uh, you know, or even a second-order injection and how to exploit those cases. Then we will move on to authentication, session management flaws, uh, misconfigurations, not just on the web or database server, but also in the application frameworks, right? Uh, then insecure direct object reference and CSERF, uh, again a very very important and uh, typically misunderstood topic where we will look at different variations of how CSERF attacks can happen in the real world. From there on we'll move into click jacking, insecure usage of cryptography, file upload vulnerabilities where we'll take different combinations based on the filtration happening on the server side. Uh, whether it is, you know, the extension filtering or content type and a couple of other checks. Uh, then RFI and LFI, uh, different examples in that. And then web to shell, which is how do you use a web application vulnerability to finally get shell on the box. Uh, and in this specific uh, part of the course, we'll also look at how to set up PHP Metapreter and other important web shells which can make your life super easy uh, once you've figured out how to upload and execute a script on the web server. Now from there on, we'll move on to more advanced topics, specifically web 2.0 applications using Ajax, uh, rich internet applications, you know, which rely on Flash and Flex and many of these uh, other frameworks. And then uh, in today's world, I think no discussion is uh, complete rather in web app security without talking about caching servers and non-relational databases. I pretty much never had any web app sec course talk about this. And I'm sure after we launch this, everyone will end up talking about this, right? Non-relational DBs are slowly becoming very, very, very important uh, in the web application security space, right? Uh, especially social media companies and large companies uh, who are holding a huge amount of data uh, pretty much rely on these databases. So we look at non-relational or non-RDBMS based DB attacks. 
From there on, we'll move on to HTML5 based attack vectors, which is again something which is quite new. Uh, and we'll look at you know a couple of variations of the different attacks which are available. And truth be told, this course and what I will be covering in this will keep evolving, uh, you know, as I create more and more videos and put them online. Now, what is going to be the video schedule, right? So we are going to be doing at least two videos a week, uh, which I'll be putting on pentesteracademy.com. And after the whole course is finished, we will end up offering this as a certification on securitytubetraining.com, right? Uh, we will also offer a lot of optional lab facilities, such as a SQL injection lab or an XSS lab, etc. while the course is running, which you can choose as a separate option if you like. Uh, but typically all the course, the videos, as well as any sample applications used are all included in this course, right? You needn't go anywhere else for that. Uh, so this is really what I had in mind for the introduction video. And uh, I think you can subscribe at just $39 a month on Pentester Academy and pretty much get access to all uh, our video series, including, of course, the web application pen testing one. Or you can check out Security Tube Training and see when we are going to launch web app pen testing as a full blown certification. That's all, guys. Have fun. Bye bye.